Hi, I'm going to show you how to assign this interactive graphing project in Google Classroom. So first, go to your Google Drive, and it should be right up here in your quick access if you recently purchased it, and if not, you can scroll down and look for it. And if you want to, you can make a copy. You don't have to. This is just something I do if I wanna make changes to it. If I wanna keep the original and then make the copy and then delete a bunch of slides, maybe I just wanna give my kids the green slides, for example, since it is differentiated. So if that's something you wanna do, you can go ahead and make a copy. And it looks like it put my copy maybe way down here at the bottom. Yeah, it did, it put it all the way at the bottom. So I have my original graphing and then I have my copy of graphing. So if that's something you're interested in doing, you can because then you can edit one of them and keep the other, but you definitely don't have to do that. So I am gonna keep that copy the way it is and then this one I'll double click to open and I already have it open, here it is. And then I can get rid of stuff if I want to. So for example, I don't, I don't need the kids to have this, they don't need that, maybe bar graphs, maybe I just want them to do the green ones for now. Um, so if you want to, you can make changes by deleting things. So all I'm doing is clicking and hitting delete on my keyboard. So this is an optional step. The project is ready the way that it is, and it has video tutorials for the kids, and it's very self-explanatory, so you can just assign it the way it is. But, you know, if you want to assign greens and then assign blues and then assign reds, or if you want to get rid of the blank graphs at the end, you can do that. So now what I have is my own version that I've made. So in my drive, I have the copy of the graphing, and this is the one with all the slides, and then this one just called graphing is the one that I just changed, okay? So that's an option you have if you wanna make changes to it. Whatever you choose to do, if you choose to just keep it and not touch it, which is totally fine, or if you decide to make a copy and make changes, either way, it'll save automatically in your drive, and then when you're ready, just go over to Google Classroom. Now, I'm a teacher and I have a classroom, but I made a fake one here just for the purpose of this video so I wouldn't be showing you all of my students' names. So that's why this is just a test class. But what you do is you click to go inside your Google Classroom. And then I'm going to click on Classwork, Create, Assignment. And then I'll put in a title. If you want to, you can put in some instructions, you know, complete the slides, or you can put in more instructions if you want to. Then I click Add, and I will select Google Drive. I'm going to um, select the one that I um, just edited, so I'm just giving them the shorter version of it. There it is. And then really important that I click here, make a copy for each student. That way they can edit it and it will be their own assignment and it won't affect what other kids are doing on their project. Then you can decide if you want it for all students or you can click here and assign it to just some students. You can put a certain amount of points if you want to, pick a due date or say no due date. And if you have topics in your class, for example, math, science, literacy, you can choose the topic so that your classwork is organized into topics. And then when you're ready, just hit assign and each kid will get their own copy that they can do. You can also schedule it. So if you want to sit down on a Friday and schedule it for the next Monday, you can do that as well. And then just hit assign when you're ready. When kids open up their Google Classroom, they can go to classwork and they will see this assignment right there. All right, so I hope that's helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions at all with this graphing project.